Hey everyone, welcome to our 52nd episode of Brew Talk with Mr. Beer. My name is Robert. I am your host for today's show. Appreciate you taking the time to join and watch us today on our episode here. Uh, before I get started, as usual, this is not our normal filming settings. Uh, we are all working remotely, so I am filming for my house. You just have to bear with me. Uh, we're doing the best we can with the sound and the background noise quality with me filming outside here uh, but it's a nice day out nice weather so i think it's a good day just to get outside for a little bit uh before i dive into our topic um i just want to appreciate everyone for you know the support they've had over the last 50 episodes if you haven't uh checked out our facebook group i haven't you know pushed that a little bit but we have a facebook group called mr beers brewing society if you haven't checked it out i would highly recommend joining it we just have to answer three questions and we'll let you in uh, we do a lot of fun stuff in the group. It's a great place to be engaged. We've got over a thousand members in there, so it's really, really cool. I highly, highly suggest joining the group. All right, so our topic today, we got a lot of new people that started with Mr. Beer. Uh, question we see quite often, I'm gonna reference my notes a little bit here, but um, what is Mr. Beer's booster? Something that not everyone sells, something that's kind of unique to what we do. Um, so I thought I'd just talk about what it is and what it does and kind of why we use it, why we have used it stuff like that just so you guys know what it is if you can brew it with or without it and some cool stuff you can do with it um so first we're talking about kind of what it is so our booster is made up of corn syrup solids now as i push for these names you're gonna have to bear with me here this is eight percent glucose 15 percent 56 percent maltoise 16 percent maltoise and 20 percent dextrins so what this is this is designed to mimic the profile of wort so when you're brewing your beer so for example let's uh, reference mr beer here when you're brewing with your mr beer can you mix your can in your water that is your wort that you get right there. There's a certain sugar and profile of that wort, and this is what kind of mimics that. So it, it has the, the kind of same settings as there. Now what this does is it helps promote, obviously a more healthier fermentation because we're not any crazy adjuncts in there, healthy yeast growth, and also doesn't add any like kind of off flavor. Sometimes when adding just a lot of like regular table sugar, stuff like that, you can get some weird cidery flavors or some other off flavors. Since this really mimics the wort profile, it's you can't notice it. The, the, the flavor at all which is really really cool one of the reasons why we like it so much um also it doesn't add any color to your beer which is cool so you can kick up the abv a little bit without adding any color at all to your beer which is something that a lot of people um talk about a lot of people that want to do you know they want their beer to be lighter in color but a higher abv booster does the trick uh, we also have a video about boosting abv and how to keep your also your beer uh lighter with brewing malt extract so i recommend checking those out a lot of videos over the course of 52 almost up to 52 weeks i think it should be close to our one year anniversary i got really off topic there uh, <laughs> uh where am i that just popped into my head super randomly um uh, where am i so the booster design obviously the main reason we use it is to increase the abv of your beer without adding any different flavors or adding any other colors etc etc um and also it will add just a, a touch of body to the overall beer as well because some of those sugars don't fully ferment out um, so it helps kind of just bump up the body a little bit, which you kind of taste uh, ever so slightly between the two. Um, and overall, it's just, I think it's a great thing to have in your brewing arsenal. I mean, we use it quite often in our brewing to do different things and some of our recipes and stuff like that. So it's a really cool thing, uh, you know, to use. Uh, you can add it to any refill or any recipe or any brew that you're creating. Anything you want to brew that you want to kick up the ABV, but maintain a really light color, I definitely recommend adding Booster. Uh, it works really, really well. Um, when you're adding the booster, you're gonna make sure that you're just adding it to warm water so it mixes easy, you know, mix it till it's fully dissolved, just like any other adjuncts that you add. Make sure they're fully dissolved before you continue on. Um, then you would continue on with your traditional boiler instructions. So one thing that you can do with um, booster that, that uh, we mentioned here, I think that is very unique that we have a whole episode that we do with Ashley, she's our hop expert about boiling hops and booster and if it does work. And it does work since the booster mimics the sugar profile or the carp or the whatever they call it, the profile of wort um so you can boil hops in it and keep it a really light color so you can get a really bitter ipa without adding any colors or doing anything like that so i really, really recommend checking out that video uh oh, boiling hops for booster work or something along those lines is the title um lastly i wanted to touch on you you don't need a booster to brew with mr beer so if you bought your refill can from anywhere else but mrbeer.com you're not going to get a booster with it it's just one of those really unique things we offer on our website we don't offer it through uh third-party channels that, that that we work with um but it's not something that is required the only thing that will do is just pump up the abv if you 
you just have the single can and you feel like you want to have more ABV, we have a whole video on different adjuncts and things like that that you can add to your beer uh, to increase the alcohol content. We can add sugar, honey, molasses, brown sugar, depending on what you want to brew, et cetera, et cetera. There's all kinds of stuff to kick up the ABV. We just like the booster because of the, the, the you know, how, how it works with the beer, how we've used it over the years, and then just that, the color aspect of it, the taste has, aspect of it. It just works really, really well. Um, it's going to wrap it up for today. I appreciate you guys. Take time to watch. Hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed a little bit about the booster. Uh, sorry, I was rambling on my notes for a little bit there, but you know, it is what it is. Um, hope you guys have a great week. Hope you guys are doing some amazing home brews. Again, make sure you join our Facebook group. Uh, sometimes we do some special things in there, so you really, really might want to check that out. I'll plug it one more time. Mr. Bear's Brewing Society. Answer the three questions. We'll let you in. It's a great place to hang out, chit chat, especially with fellow home brewers and all the new people that we're getting in. Hope you guys are staying safe and we'll talk to you next week. Cheers.